Hey everybody, welcome into another edition of Catabullion Live. As always, I'm Carlos Pilago. To my right, my good buddy Simon Neal. To my left, Lucas Panzica joining us for the first time. His first game was last night. How was it? Uh, well, it was more than I could have possibly expected, right? My goodness, Danny Reynolds, the uh, winner, the night stoppage time, 30-yard free kick. Uh, what a way to start my experience in Chattanooga. Absolutely. As Lucas mentioned last night, great, great atmosphere here in Finley Stadium. We got uh, Danny Reynolds with a, a great winner in the 92nd minute. But tonight, the feature is the Chattanooga female women's team playing tonight. They're playing against the Nashville team that uh, they just played about eight days ago. So I mean, it was two to nothing. That's Tough right. game for That's Chattanooga right. football club. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we're excited for another match tonight. Absolutely. They went away and got out the home line from Nashville. They took, they took out the max and scored two goals against them. Tonight, yes, looking for revenge, looking for a good game tonight for women. And uh, yeah, it was about to get going. Pretty exciting. So I think we'll go through the teams now, yeah. let you know who's going to play. Um, Lucas, you've got the ladies from Nashville. Let's do the guests first, and I'll do Chattanooga FC. We'll start in goal, Anna Rosa Buigas of Lipscomb University, will start in goal for Nashville. And then on defense, uh, Mary Frances Hoots, Sydney Hunt, Madison Lauk. Uh, Looking like the starting defense for Nashville. Then Jada Barca, Tara Austin, let's see here, Rebecca Holloway, and Dylan Woolsey starting the midfield. And then up top, Olivia Chu, let's see, Macy McKay, uh, and those are starters on here for Nashville. Awesome. Well, uh, walk us through the, the starters for Chattanooga sure. football clubs. I'm sure we will. Okay, so for Chattanooga FC, we've got uh, Daniel Kujinak in goal. Uh, front, we've got Carly Banks playing in the ACM position. Uh, we've got Ashley Cade, uh, offensive back, uh, centre mid, Hannah Deering. Um, we've got Melissa Hash, wing forward, Julia Cassett, uh, centre mid or centre back. Uh, we've got Anna Lanza, Edward Nodana, um, in the defensive back. Claire Lanza, Francisca, centre back. Um, Summer Lanza, wing forward, attack in centre mid. And then Ashley Manning, centre forward. Hayley Nichols in centre mid round down the team off. Coach from Chattanooga, Erin Lycan Radley, and she's here today down the field of the bench, waiting to go. And Lucas, you were able to talk with Coach just a little bit this week in the lead up to the game. I know they've they've both been, you know, kind of token to their teams and maybe see some tactical shifts from the last game, but anything you can tell us from those conversations? Well, I talked to both coaches and both conversations are actually pretty similar. Both teams like to start their games in a 4-3-3 and then obviously things change as the game goes on, as any coach will do. But really they both have the same mentality going in. Of course, they played each other eight days ago and haven't played anyone in between. Yep. And so I think we could expect to see a pretty similar matchup as we did the other day. Both teams are going in with the same mentality. Both teams have the mentality of no one superstar. They both like to go from the back, send their outside backs up the lines. So I think it's going to be really the same mentality, a lot of the same schemes and, and strategies going in today, especially since they just played each other a week ago. I think we're in for a very interesting matchup. Awesome. Well, we look forward to it. The teams are being announced. At the moment, we're going to step away for just one second and get ready. we got Simon and Lucas for the first half today, so don't go anywhere. We'll get right into it. FC 
Tennessee women are coached by Aaron Lycan Ridley. Assistant coach and general manager Gretchen Hamill. The strength and conditioning coach is Tim Ridley. Certified athletic trainer is Alex Brown. And your game day operations manager, Mrs. Terry Bell. It's a beautiful day down here in downtown Chattanooga, partly cloudy, 85 degrees. Might expect some rain a little bit later, but we're hoping it's going to hold off before the final whistle of this game. I'm Lucas Panzica, my partner is Simon Neal. Simon, might rain a little bit later, but right now looking like a great day for some <laughs> soccer. Everything is beautiful out there, Lucas. It's great outside. It's very comfortable temperature, low 80s, really nice. And uh, clear skies, everything is good. Let's hope we get the game in before the rain gets here. There is some rain in the way from Nashville. We'll see if the storm is on the field or the storm is in the sky tonight. But either way, we got to get some soccer in. Looking forward to seeing these two teams play again. And as you were saying earlier, they played last week eight days ago. So, uh, yeah, someone's looking for revenge. Someone's looking for, for win number two. So lots going on here tonight. Should be an interesting matchup worth watching. We've got a you know, good crowd coming in. We've got some Chala hooligans down there making a heck of a lot of noise for a small group of people. So uh, good stuff all around. I'd say the atmosphere is building and uh, play will be underway very soon. And for these two teams we mentioned in the pregame, how similar they are, but they haven't had such similar seasons. Nashville only having played two games, mm -hmm. drew one against Gulf Coast, and of course beat Chattanooga two to nothing a week ago. Chattanooga's still looking for that first win of the season. That's right. There must be a lot of uh, pressure, as was in the men's team, trying to get those first three points on the board. And uh, I know the ladies want to win as, men, as well as the men did. So uh, the men won last night. Let's hope the luck continues. The ladies get their first win of the season too. That home advantage has got to help, Lucas. Absolutely. Well, the players are taking the field now. A lot, lot, of, lot of players to look out for here for Chattanooga. We mentioned there's no one mm -hmm. superstars, but, but one person that coaches love to talk about are actually three on the team, the Lantar sisters. Right. Anna, Claire, and Summer stand out a lot. Mm -hmm. Summer, racing up and down the field, can run for days, it seems, and Anna and Claire are staples <laughs> of this Chattanooga defense. Right. Do you expect them all to get pretty good amount of playing time today? I expect so. I mean, if they gel well together, the coach shouldn't see any reason to change them out. Obviously, they want to give all the players a chance to rotate and play. That The coach wants to see how they do in different situations. But yeah, if someone's having a good game, there's no reason to take them off the field. So uh, well, I think those three girls will be playing right until the end. But uh, we will see tonight. This is a good chance to find out. Then they're off. Yep. Nashville kicking off. Nashville in the red, playing from the uh, right to the left on your screen. And Chattanooga FC, of course, in the white shirts and blue shorts. So Chattanooga looking to get the first threat on goal here. Carly Banks tries to control. It's up top with Chattanooga. There's Lizzie Shaughnessy. She's a goal scoring threat for Chattanooga. Yeah, the, shot in. the first shot of the game Not goes bad. out for a goal kick just past the goalkeeper, Anna Rosa mm -hmm. Buigas. Yep. Not bad at all. They didn't really close it down there, Luke. They still gave her plenty of space to get the shot in. I would like to see the national defence get a bit closer there and stop her getting that, that shot off. Here's Melissa Hass. Melissa Hass, excuse me, likes to assert herself on the right wing. Coach Ridley loves this player. Has endless energy up and down the flank there. She's going to give the throw into Ashley Cade. Ashley Cade, another one that Coach Ridley mentioned to me. She has mm -hmm. the, probably maybe the longest throw in the WPSL. We might see it right here. Okay, let's see what she got. That's long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Headed Fixed in. Lizzie Shaughnessy trying Who's to get there? a head on it. Looks like they'll call mm -hmm. a foul there on Chattanooga. So Anna Rosa Buigas, looks like Chattanooga's kept it near the 18 in this young game. They've kept it a lot in Nashville's box. What did you notice, Simon, from the last game? What was, the, what was the biggest thing you took away? Well, I mean, both teams played really well and the, the CFC ladies were unlucky to concede the two goals. It was almost to get this run of play from what I was hearing about the game. Um, but we've seen that a lot in this league too. Uh, one team is dominant and then you find that a break comes on and the, uh, the attacking team converts and it doesn't take much to change the complexion of the game just with a 30 seconds of play. Olivia that... Chu trying to find a mm -hmm. cross in there but into the arms of Danielle Krasaniak. Mm -hmm. And here's one of the Lantern sisters right there. That's Anna, the most experienced of the three. 
was a three-year captain at Lee University. Mm -hmm. Lee turns out a lot of good players, doesn't it? Absolutely. Lucas. That's uh, where David Perez comes from, the men's team, and I've seen him play, plus, of course, Tommy Housel as well. And, uh, yeah, they're a good team, the Flames. Five players on this team alone mm -hmm. attended or still attend Lee University. Right. Pass intercepted there by Ashley Cade. And Melissa Hash going to try to make something happen, but she's going to send it to the back line. Chattanooga, as well as Nashville, love to build out of the back. They trust their defenders on the ball. Mm-hmm. No early pressure on Nashville yet. Um, just say, as we always find out in these team games, they're uh, waiting to see how each team reacts and doing a bit of probing to see what the reaction is. So Long ball in intended for Summer Lanter is headed out. And Anna Lanter will throw it in here. Chested down by Summer. Back to her sister, but it's intercepted by Nashville. But Chattanooga tries to regain possession. A great ball over the top of the defense to Melissa Hash. She's going in towards the goal line. Tries to cut back. It's great defense there by Nashville. And it's picked up by Anna Claire Bujigas. Excuse me, Anna Rosa Bujigas. And Olivia Chu here. One of Nashville's main threats there on the left flank. Trying to get a 1-2 going, but... And there it goes. Ball's picked up by Madison Lauk, and Chu might have an opportunity here, being shut down. Driven to the line. Excellent oh, defense yeah. there. That was Claire Lanter. Mm -hmm. yep. And Nashville wins a corner. Just run her out of space there, which is a good technique to do for a defender, is to run them out of space and they can't get the shot in. So Nashville looking to get their first real chance of the match. Only one shot so far by Lizzie Shaughnessy that trickled past the goalkeeper for a goal kick. Mm -hmm. Oh. Ball in and headed in by Nashville. They no take goal. the lead. No, no goal. goal. Referee signaling to the... Saying uh, the ball went out. To the linesman. Yep. It was out before it went, it went out, then played back in again. Well, Danielle Krasaniak so. will be will be having a sigh of relief after mm -hmm. that. Right, right. That's always tough for a goalkeeper when the ball's right on the goal line like that. It is. Didn't see who headed it in there for Nashville, but Chattanooga catches a break. Mm-hmm. Cleared up and high by Claire Lanter. Good job settling it by Haley Nichols, but might have put too much on it for Anna Lanter. Now Nashville. Trying to go down the line, but Anna Lanter shuts it down. It'll be another throw in. Anna Lanter doing a great job defensively so far. And here's Summer. Anna and Summer, we might see them mm -hmm. combining a lot over there on yeah. that left flank, the yeah. two sisters. I think that's right. They played that way at Lee together too, and it's you know, they used to see each other's style of play, so that would make sense. They would combine well down there. Claire, an All-American at Lee, was captain for three years, and Anna headed there this fall. Right. Hannah All-State at Saudi Daisy High School it's in Tennessee just ball. this past season. Keep us out of the box. But... Uh, Olivia Chu trying to control. Plays it inside. Out to the left back. Mary Frances Hoots on the ball. Finds Tara Austin. Back to Hoots. And back to Buigas. Nashville looking like they're trying to spread it around the defense. Try to make something happen. Ball played up toward Olivia Chu. It's intercepted by Ashley Cade. But she doesn't get a good enough touch on it. And here goes Hoots. This is Nashville. Trying to get through this wall of Chattanooga defense that's done well in this young game so mm -hmm. far. Only they six have. minutes in. Yeah, they have. Nashville trying to find the gap and trickles back to the keeper but yeah interesting move trying to go sideways and uh, find that hole in the defense haven't found it yet but uh, they are trying hard Chu looking to be the main attacking outlet for Nashville here mm -hmm. tried to find Madison Lauk there but a miscommunication and Chattanooga is back in possession Krasaniak on the ball 
Not many options on the defense. She's going to boot it up field. Well done by Tara Austin to keep it in bounds, but it'll be out. Chattanooga throw. Here's Ashley Cade again. See if she utilizes that arm. Looks like she will. Down the line for Chattanooga. Looking for Lizzie Shaughnessy. And a miss hit there by Mary Frances Hoots. Gives Chattanooga a throw in in a dangerous position. This might be Ashley Cade's territory here. I think it will be. If she can take a long throw, it's going to go right into the box. Could be a good scoring opportunity. Coach Ridley mentioned they haven't been able to utilize Ashley's long throws to produce a goal just yet, but we'll see if they're able this to do it this game. This is a great chance to on. Headed and out the, by Into the no man's land there. No one there to follow, follow up and take the shot. And Chu clears it away. Hmm. And it'll go out. And it will throw it in. Mm -hmm. Ball goes out again. Another Chattanooga throw in. Chattanooga all the way back to the keeper again. National able to capitalize on that. But uh, they're coming to the ball strong. Chattanooga letting the passes go and Ashley are doing a lot of interceptions. It's poked through by Jada Barker and a 1 2 with Olivia Chu. Great move by Barker. Mm -hmm. Another great touch. And intercepted by Ashley Kay. Now Melissa Hash trying to assert herself on the right wing. Play it up the line. Ashley Kay has some room in front of her. Chu catches up to her. Kay tries to play a ball through, but it's cleared away by Hoots. So far, it seemed pretty even, pretty back and forth it between does. the two teams. It does, Lucas. Yeah, I mean, that scoring opportunity from Nashville was good. And uh, Chattanooga's first shot was, uh, you know, an early starter. But, uh, yeah, fairly well matched. Here's Anna Lantern on the ball. Back to Krasaniak. Under pressure here mm. from Abarca, and she's going to have to kick it out. That'll be a Nashville throw-in. Yeah, the Nashville attacks are certainly more aggressive, Lucas. I'm seeing that. Uh, the uh, Chattanooga strikers are trying to build, and the national attackers just going for it when they get a chance. It's just a slight different in technique. Madison Lau uh, tries to, try to win, win it there on a slide and yeah. go out for a goal kick. So 10 minutes into the first half, and uh, still 0-0 to Chattanooga FC against Nashville Rhythm. But uh, an interesting game shaping up here, for sure. Lots of uh, interesting play early on. Have yet to see a le real legitimate shot on goal. Mm -hmm. Last game was decided two to nothing eight days ago. A win by Nashville in Nashville over Chattanooga. And that goal kick goes out for another throw in. Hoots throws it down the line. Quick throw from Nashville, trying to get the turn on. Barker trying to get that, that corner. Nice cross, but into the side netting. Well done with the pressure there from Julia Kasich. No lack of aggression from Nashville tonight, Lucas. Not at all. They're uh, certainly making every chance they get into a shot. Both teams still looking for that real threat on goal. Chattanooga defense done a good job so far of forcing them out for goal kicks and putting pressure on the offense. A long ball here. Summerlander trying to put pressure. And there's Hannah Deering, great tackle, but it'll call a foul. Hannah Deering, such an important player for this Chattanooga team, sitting there in front of the defense as a holding midfielder, kind of pulling the strings for the midfield, trying to link up to the offense. Headed back in by Nashville. Melissa Hash trying to win it from two here. Now Nashville is going to try to make something happen from the back four. They're pretty confident, Lucas. The keep keeps coming out of the box. 
wondering if, if Chatham, you can see that and uh, maybe make something of it and lob a shot over her if she keeps coming forward so much. See if she's, they can uh, take advantage of that up. down the line. She's Great ball up. by Jada Barker. Olivia Chu has mm -hmm. some space here, but Too Ashley slow. Cade closes Back in on her, but missed oh, times the see. tackle. Mm. And that'll go out for a corner kick. Well done on defense there by Chattanooga. Closing off that side of the goal. Looked like Ashley Manning there coming back to help out from the midfield. So Nash are winning on the corner kick count. Which is a sign there, uh, keen to get that, that opening goal. Ashley Manning, another important piece of this team, actually played under Coach Ridley at Virginia Tech. Mm -hmm. When Coach Ridley was an assistant there, made it to a Final Four, the first one in the school's history. Wow, that's pretty good. Chu sending one in. It's a good ball. Both Collision there in front of the goal. The ball's bouncing around. Well done by Anna Lanter. And it's cleared away. And Summer will have a one on one here with Sydney Hunt. Good tackle there. Sydney Hunt controls. Intended for Madison Lauk. Kept in. Play back to Mary Frances Hoot in the center of the defense. Nashville now seeming to get a bulk of the possession. Here's Chu. Tries to send it in. Nobody's there. Collected by Krasaniak. Big punt upfield right into the Nashville defense. Ashley Cade will settle. But misplaces the pass. It's intercepted by Austin. And Nashville will start over from the back. Chattanooga defense shutting down quickly any touches by the forwards for Nashville. That's same ball as before. Deep Sending in, in some long balls. Yeah. <laughs> no on the end of that one, but uh, Nashville certainly putting the pressure on Lucas, starting to turn it up a little bit and uh, push Chattanooga back into their own half pretty much well, there's, the last few minutes. Spending a lot of time in the half, mm -hmm. but struggling to create a real chance. Mm -hmm. That back line is, is making to be some good insurance for Chattanooga today. Intercepted by Carly Banks. Good ball. A fight in the midfield. Foul and goal. it'll be called a free kick. Yep. That was 12 against 12. Sarah Bossung is called for the foul. Mm -hmm. So Chattanooga will try to put the ball into the box. Free kick, Carly Banks to take. This an important match for Chattanooga, looking to get their first win as they're reaching the halfway point of the regular season. <coughs> Here's Carly Banks. Looked like she might have gone for goal there. She did. Bounces into the hands of Ana Rosa Buigas. Mm -hmm. Didn't trouble the keeper too much, but uh, got a good read in that one over the wall. So uh, yeah, the same position where uh, Last night's winning goal was scored from, I think, Lucas. Always Absolutely. Exactly the same yeah, spot. That was very close, <laughs> indeed. And I think Carlos mentioned it yesterday. I think sometimes you even prefer to have that as opposed to a couple yards outside of the Correct. 18. It's so hard to get it over the wall and then it down is. again. But it is. From further out, you can give it more power and uh, you have more options too from further back. Oh, and that looks like it. Might... Yeah, yeah, it'll be a foul on Haley Nichols. Calling the foul on that one. And Nashville's it. first free kick of the match. That was Macy McKay on the ball. They're going to have to restart. They're sending people up.
Nashville has been aggressive. You're right about that, Simon. Mm -hmm. Buigas, a good 10 yards outside of her 18. Looks like they're going to try to put this one in the box. Hooch mm -hmm. is going to utilize her leg here. A long ball in. There's players down in the box, but it's cleared away. And Summer Lanter doesn't get a good touch on it. Back into Sydney Hunt's possession. And Olivia Chu over on the right side of the field now. Looks like she's floating all over the place. We're trying to find that gap. And then they go through the defense. Przaniak gets there. Good save. Good, strong save. A good decision to come out by the keeper. She seems a bit shaken up, but she seems to be getting up. Yeah, I think it was an unintentional collision there. But, uh... And the few Chattahooligans that are here are certainly <laughs> letting their voices be heard. The drums definitely help. It's cleared away. And they were trying to get something started, but uh, not connecting. Putting the ball out for a national throw on the far side. So, uh, trying to keep Nashville penned up and uh, away from the Chattanooga goal because they are trying to come through and make a, make that first strike of their own. But uh, Chattanooga FC midfield is doing well, holding them out. And uh, when the defence is being asked to step up, they are. So that's good to see. So the next thing we want to see is, of course, the attack and the offence coming on for Chattanooga. Yeah, both but, teams. Uh, midfield and the defence playing well for Chattanooga. I'm pleased to see that. Both teams still looking for that first real challenge. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Mary Frances Hoots, a lot of the play for Nashville starts in the back with her. Tara Austin almost slips up on the ball but regains possession. Back to the centre of the defence. Madison Lauk drifting back. Sends it up. Chattanooga trying to counter. Carly Banks will pull it back. Good touches by Banks. Finds Shaughnessy. Shaughnessy. Great move, ah, but runs too out much space. on it. Runs yeah. out of space there Ooh. on the byline. She'll take the throw in instead of Cade. Cleared away by Hoots. Chattanooga just trying to get the ball in the box. They did have the first shot of the game from Lizzie Shaughnessy. Good challenge there for yeah. Madison Lauk to get it upfield. And here comes Nashville. Cleared away by Anna Lanter. It's Tara Austin. Puts too much on it for Macy McKay. Ashley Cade putting it back into play for Chattanooga. McKay gets past Banks, tries to find Chu, mm. but it's cut off. A shot there. It's a long, optimistic shot from that far out. But, uh, Chattanooga coming forward, trying to uh, take the advantage here and come forward. Nationally got uh, five back already, so their uh, defense is working very well. Here's Summer. Summer, has a Summer to makes in, a move. Passes one, but can't get past two. Runs into too many defenders. Mm -hmm. Ball is Chattanooga's. Looks like we'll have a sub here. Two coming on for Chattanooga. Mm -hmm. Emily Sadler, one. Sadler coming off, Haley Nichols coming on, excuse me, Haley Nichols will come off and looks like Summer Lanter came off as well 
they may need her a little bit later. Yeah, I think the coaches are rotating the players there. Lucas give them uh, all some playing time. I don't think there's any particular reason to take them off because they're playing badly or hurt. They're just uh, doing the rotation. Give everybody a good chance to get some playing minutes under their boots. Coach Ridley is certainly no stranger to rotating her entire team. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of utility players on this team can play multiple positions. Shaughnessy. Ball upfield. Ashley Manning trying to make something happen. Free kick for Nashville. <clears throat> Something Coach Ridley really emphasized, especially based on this last game they had with Nashville, is they need to have defensive organization. It looks like they've accomplished that so far. They need to circulate the ball, they need to find their forwards, and really outnumber the defenders, get those numerical advantages in the final third. And that is one thing that mm -hmm. Nashville has done a good job of preventing. Correct. Yeah, I've been pleased with Chattanooga's defense. Um, haven't seen too many problems in many areas in the back at all, but uh, certainly need to start pushing up now and uh, getting the, the, the attackers working a little harder too. But uh, yeah, both teams actually are fairly good through defenses. They're both um, able to contain any attack. So uh, it's really up to the, the forwards to make something out of this game and uh, make a difference out there. Cleared away again by Chattanooga. Nashville trying to put on the pressure. Nice trying to find Chu. It's a good ball, but it's offside. Yeah. It's so hard for these teams, Simon, with only an eight-game mm -hmm. regular season to, to really find that rhythm. And That's right. Of course, Nashville only two games in, Chattanooga only three. Mm -hmm. You know, for a lot of teams, it takes maybe a dozen games to finally get that exactly. rhythm going and they exactly. just have a really short regular season to work with especially with coach Ridley this is her first season just makes it that much more challenging right with a short season it is hard to get things really going as you start getting your pace and getting everything moving properly uh, the season's done so uh, it's important to get friendly games in and practice games in but uh, yeah it's just a small league and that does make it a little harder for them too Good news for Chattanooga. They will get an opportunity to play in the postseason regardless of where they finish in the table in the Southeast. Nashville moving the ball well. Here's Chu. She's got space. Trying to challenge this Chattanooga defense. A good ball in. Charged Shot there. Again. Ball being bounced around. Shaughnessy is not able to clear, but good, the ball bounces ball out, out to Carly Banks. Yeah, can the attackers break for Chattanooga? Good ball in here for Ashley Manning. Can she beat the out. keeper to it? Wow, Buigas. she's way out of the box for that one. Buigas doing her best, Manuel Neuer mm -hmm. impression. <laughs> and Nashville regains possession. Manning. Back to the center of the defense, Mary Frances Hoots. Tara Austin. Well done there to regain possession, but Nashville gets it right back. And here they are, Olivia Chu trying to make a run. Nice ball. Ball back out to McKay. He was trying to flood back in the closing box. Closing it's in. a long, long ball, a little too deep for anyone to get to. Just too high. Good yeah. ball there. Nashville still tries going to get it in. And well Kazania, saved. Another really good. good save. Very good. Both keepers have seemed mm -hmm. confident today. It's going to be tough to. They are. Yeah. Yeah. Get on the scoreboard. It seems. A 
Olivia Chu, been all over the place for Nashville today. Cleared away by Lanter. Another sub here for Chattanooga. Ashley Cade re-entering the game. As well as Summer Lanter. And we'll see who comes off. Both very important players for Chattanooga. They'll mm -hmm. certainly be in for the last 10 minutes. Anna Lanter will come off. As well as Melissa Hash. So a lanter for a lanter in the Chattanooga substitution. <laughs> Try and get and that Lee give Sadler. and go work of an Ashley. They didn't quite come off. Chattanooga able to regroup. Not able to keep Not possession. Not able to get that one in possession. Yeah, it was a fairly unpressured pass, but uh, Nashville taking the throw in again. Let's see if they can uh, make some space. Hannah Deering and commits the foul She goes the foul down there. there. She kind of turned into the defender, but the referee's giving it as a foul. So Jada Barker goes down and a free kick in a semi-dangerous -danger area for Nashville. Yep. It is. We've it's seen they're not afraid to loop those balls in from long range. Yeah, we played almost half an hour, Lucas, and still nil-nil, so I know Nashville would like to uh, get themselves in the scoreboard if they can. will be Jada Barca to take the free kick. Plenty of players Going in deep. there for Nashville. It's a good ball in. Channing, in get to it first. Yeah. So get it Barca away. can't get a good shot. Olivia Chu trying to make something happen in the box. And a Barca, another shot, a great oh, shot off the, off the post. Kurzaniak does a great job of Ooh. tipping it into the post. That was a very dangerous looking shot there from Nashville. Krasaniak has kept Chattanooga in this game. Chattanooga breaking. Have they got the speed to get the ball first? Yes, they do. Now Chattanooga turning it up. Ariel coming Hansford fast down there at the other corner. end. How quick soccer changes, Lucas. One Absolutely. end to the other. The most dangerous challenge of the match so far. And mm, Danielle Krasaniak does an excellent job of tipping it to the woodwork. Hooligans showing their appreciation. Now Chu has been the most creative player so far. She's going to try to shot herself, an ambitious one. And Kurzaniak collects. Now plenty of space here for Chattanooga to work with. Nashville tracking back. But Nashville regains possession. Macy McKay on the ball. Back to Madison Lauk. Lauk, another very versatile player for the Nashville Rhythm. Plays at the University of Miami in Florida. Mm -hmm. Going into her sophomore year this fall. From Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Mary Frances Hoots. Nashville looking to make their first sub of the game. Chattanooga also making a change. Number 17 coming on, that's Emily Mosley. And she takes off Chu, who's been running around tirelessly. So she'll be taking that uh, left wing position, I guess. Mm -hmm. See how dangerous she is on that side. Krista Klingenberg is coming on for Chattanooga. Love her center back. Emily Mosley will come out. Klingenberg from Paris, Tennessee. Currently the captain at Bethel University. Just celebrated her birthday three days ago. June birthdays are always the best ones. <laughs> Not that I'm biased. <laughs> I would argue October, but we'll agree to disagree. Now Chattanooga. Trying to break. Got space there for Summer Lanter. She's on the right Sarah. side now. Takes a big touch. An Goes excellent down. tackle by Mary Frances Hoots. Yeah. Good tackle there on the keeping out to grab the ball without too much problem, but uh, 
that defensive work again. Nashville have stepped up and there's been a, a challenge and uh, defended very well. Ellen Lundy tries to play it in. She's on that left wing now. Mm -hmm. We're already seeing a lot of rotation in both these teams. Correct, that's right. Which shows how versatile a lot of the girls are. They can play almost anywhere. And she goes back to what both coaches say about there not being one superstar. They count right. on several different players in several different spots mm -hmm. on the field. Although the one consistent one, I will say, has been Mary Frances Hoots. Right. There in the center of the defense for she, Nashville. She's been very good indeed today. Headed away. Now on the right side for Nashville. Swung in again into Danielle Krasaniak. She's starting to get a lot of touches there for Chattanooga. Anna Rosa Boigas hasn't had much to do in a few minutes. Long ball in by Lizzie Shaughnessy. Now Nashville right there at half field. They go for the long ball for Rebecca Holloway, but way too much on that. Well, we're 33 minutes into this game and still mm -hmm. scoreless. We've seen a couple chances, nothing too serious. Nashville had the most serious chance of the game. Lizzie, or excuse me, Daniel Krasaniak mm -hmm. does a fantastic job of right. tipping it away. Nashville certainly hit the woodwork, and that's uh, a sign they're getting close to getting the goal, but... Uh... It's got to cross that line of count, so. But uh, yeah, they've had the most of the chances, most of the attacks, but uh, still no goal, which means the Chattanooga defense is doing a good job. Emily Mosley plays it out to Rebecca Holloway, but cleared away by Chattanooga. And Hoots heads it back into play. Good touch there. Summer Lanter, they've been trying to get her the ball. Mm -hmm. Want to see her run with it. Klingenberg loses it, and here's Nashville. And a miscommunication oh, there. Definitely miscommunication there. They went in completely different directions. Ends up uh, coming to nothing. Przaniak. They like to keep it in the back. Both teams do, really. Or at least start in the back. Another miscommunication. Summer Lancer went running. <coughs> Ball was played at her feet. Good dummy there. Chuckling clearing the ball. Put out of bounds by Lizzie Addis, Shaughnessy. Just for safety. <laughs> Shaughnessy now in that right back role. They like to use her in the number mm -hmm. nine. She has two goals on the season, actually the leading scorer for this team. She's having a good game there at the back too, Lucas. I think that's uh, working well for her today. That was a... Bad clearance there by Chattanooga. Time header there by Clear Lanter. You don't see that often. No, you don't. Yeah, Trying to get the edge here. She speed. gets it. Oh, and falls over the ball. Just. That's Ariel Hansford it's still fighting for the break. it. Yep, still fighting over there. Wins it back. Well done by Hansford. Wow, like a one-woman dynamo. Didn't give up on the ball, but she can't find Desiree Robinson, who's now up top. And here she comes again, Hansford. Now Carly Banks. Carly Banks still hasn't left the field for Chattanooga. Chattanooga trying to make some noise from the left side. It's going to be whipped in here. Summer Lanter is at the back post. She finds oh, a shot on target. Shot. And it's punched out for a corner by Ana Rosa Buigas. Her first a, real challenge. Yeah, that was a good the match. move. Good move there. So Chattanooga get their first corner of the game. Would you believe it? Almost 36, 37 mm -hmm. minutes played in it. That's their first corner of the game. Well done by Summer Lantern, was, waiting, waiting yeah. for the ball to get to her foot there. That was a good move. Going for the side volley instead of the header. Making a quick Getting substitution here. Uh, Haley Nichols coming back on for Chattanooga. And I think she'll be taking the corner like kick. She will. So. Uh, Carly Banks coming off for the first time. They'll Carly. need her a little bit later as well. She's, uh, she needs to catch her breath. She's uh, running, running she's like been crazy. She's engine in the midfield. <laughs> she has. Banks plays at LSU, a real playmaker for Chattanooga, and this is headed away. Nashville pushing out very safely. Nashville with everyone in the box there. Yeah, everybody floods out the box out for Chattanooga throw. We 
we're seeing Chattanooga certainly doing a lot more rotation than Nashville. Mm -hmm. A lot of players going That's in and out already. Long throw, but all runs through to the keeper in the end. She gets play started up again, gets Nashville off. Looks like Macy McKay getting set to mm -hmm. come on. Ball tried to play up top. But Summer Lanter does a great job of tracking back. Excellent. Yeah, good defensive Excuse play me, all Lanter. the way back. And, uh, yep. That was Anna Lanter there. Shuts down the, uh, the attack very nicely. Up the field to Ariel Hansford. Mm. She can't control it despite not being pressured. It'll be a Nashville throw-in. So only one or two serious chances from mm -hmm. each of these teams. We're still scoreless, 38 minutes in. We'll see if a team can snag a goal, draw first blood before halftime. Yeah, this is the dangerous time, Lucas. If you can get the goal in these minutes up until the 45, then yeah, it can change the game. Alexandra Searcy coming in for Nashville. She took out Ellen Lundy. And looks like another substitution getting lined up for Nashville. Searcy comes in for Nashville from Franklin, Tennessee. A student here at UTC going into her sophomore year. Krista Klingenberg, well done. Chattanooga trying to keep possession. Here's Anna Lanter. Takes a few touches, out to Summer, her sister. Summer, back to Anna. Anna into the middle for Krista Klingenberg. Does a good job getting it away. And Chattanooga starting to retain a little bit mm -hmm. of possession. Nice bit of possession, I was gonna say the same thing, Lucas. They were uh, working hard on just keeping the ball. Now Rebecca Holloway, back to Hoots. Emily Mosley. And here comes Nashville. Tries to play it in. Good touch there, but cleared away. Klingenberg does well. Cleared away again by Klingenberg. A lot of these Nashville players, teammates at the same college, five of them at Lipscomb, three mm -hmm. at Belmont, right. <laughs> which are both very close to each they, other. Those, those players see each other on a weekly basis. And then three here in Chattanooga, UTC. Here comes Melody Fisher. She'll come on for Nashville. A role player for the rhythm. Here's Chattanooga, Summer Lanter, all by herself. Nice She's ball across the box in on very quickly. Gives a space. Tries to make the Drives on, tries to cross it. Does win. well to win the corner. Yeah, wins the corner well. Very good play. Chattanooga's second corner. Tara Austin also does well not to let her get past her and get to that goal line to send one in. So Haley Nichols to take another corner for Chattanooga. Only their second of the match so far. Ball in, ball bounced around and it oh. just passed the post. Looked like Krista Klingenberg got a foot on that. I was gonna go into the corner there for a moment. He just drifted past the uh, the near post. Very interesting. That one did bobble around quite a bit. Nash didn't really get hold of it. So Buigas will try to put it back into play. Both teams looking like they're staying true to their formation as they entered the match. Haley Nichols, good job winning that header, but it's at the feet of Tara Austin. He's put back into play. He's also strong, that goes out for a throw. Here's Anna Lanter. Back to the middle for Krasaniak. Emily Mosley heads it into the feet of Krista Klingenberg. 
Klingenberg circling around looking for an opening, finds Anna Lanter. Lanter will take it. Loses possession. And Tara Austin back into the midfield of Nashville to Emily Mosley. Here's Rebecca Holloway. Well done there to get it to Anna Lanter. And Rebecca Holloway on the ball again. Pass a little behind there. But Neve Rawling collects and sends it back to Emily Mosley. Anna to Summer again, but Emily Mosley ends up back to possession. Tara Austin now. Back to Mosley. Back to Rawlings. Rebecca Holloway. Makes a move to get past Anna Lanter. She's going to try to send one in. Lanter closes Good it down. Tackle. Excellent tackle. Yeah. Back up field to Summer. They can make something out of this, but... Uh, right back to Neve Rawlings. They're giving away possession cheaply here, Lucas. i got to say, they need to do better on that uh, that final pass. Seems like they're not picking their head up enough mm -hmm. and looking at right. who right. pick out the pass. A good ball in here nice. for Nashville. What are Nashville going to do with this? But intercepted by Klingenberg and cleared away. And Summer Lanter trying to take matters into her own hands here, but she's just going to give it back to Klingenberg. Not enough power on that clearance as she would like. And Summer, good job of shielding Holloway. Mm -hmm. Back to Anna. Ball kind of floating around in this area mm -hmm. of the field now. We're not seeing it. It's in it. the middle third Absolutely. of the field, Lucas. Neither team is really getting it in, into the penalty box of either side that much. Mm -hmm. It's certainly not much they'd like to be. Claire Lanter, excuse me, Ashley Manning goes down there. And Mary Frances Hoots gets a warning. Next Come one on. might see a card. Well, we're in the 45th minute. No goals yet. Looks like there's not going to be a whole lot of injury time because the game has flowed very well. So uh, we may go into the second, sorry, into the second half at nil-nil. And Atlanta is going to send it in. Unless something Try happens here. <laughs> Headed on. Doesn't look like it. Bowie gets much flex. There. Yep. And we might have the final few seconds of this first half here at Finley Stadium. Scoreless still in this rematch. Chattanooga FC in the Nashville rhythm. You think Coach Ridley is pleased going into the dressing room right now? I think they're pleased they haven't conceded a goal, but they like to see a bit more aggression, mm -hmm. a few more shots. Certainly Nashville winning on the shot count, but uh, yeah, I think she'd be pleased they haven't uh, conceded at all or done anything stupid. They've been steady. Uh, they just need to, uh, you know, start getting a bit more aggressive, I think, for the second half. Well, we've hit 45. Referee has not blown his whistle. Zaniac is going to be under pressure here. She's going to have to, she's going to have to go out of bounds there. Nashville will have a throw in, but referee looking at his watch, he's going to let them throw. I think he'll let the last play go through, probably then blow the whistle. So it's not a whole Nashville lot of... trying to steal one. Then Emily Mosley, they got to get into the box quick if they want to. Tries to send Runs it in, but through. too much on it. Zaniac yeah. picks it up. Out to that left back. Referee's looking at his watch again. He's letting her run. Down the line, but too much again in Ruigas. And there it is. That's, it. That's your first half. We're scoreless. Zero to zero. A couple legitimate chances. Mm -hmm. But if you had to choose one side with the advantage, it's been a fairly even match, Simon. But who do you really give the edge to so At far? At the moment, I'm going to give it to Nashville because of because the shot count and the way they're going to the ball. When there's a loose ball, they're getting there first each time. They're showing more aggression. That's a sign of a team that wants to win. And that's probably why they won their team. Ah, won their game, I should say, up in Nashville last weekend. Um, so, yeah, at the edge, Nashville slightly got more of a... More of an edge on the game, but um, <coughs> we'll see what happens. I think well. so. We'll see what happens in the second half. But, uh, yep, so far, <laughs> new and at half time. We're going to take a break and let you guys go and get yourself a cup of tea or a drink, whatever you want to do. And we should be back in about 15 minutes' time. So uh, don't go away. We'll be back here very soon. Thanks for listening. And uh, Finley Stadium, still a nice night out here. We've had a scoreless half of soccer. I'm Lucas Panzica. And with me now is Carlos Pialago. Carlos, what did you see from that first half when you were just watching off to the side? Yeah, I think a lot of back and forth, Lucas. And uh, 
I think you mentioned in the in the first half, Nashville had the majority of the chances, had a the more dangerous possession. I think we saw Krasniak making a really really good save to her left, just tipping the ball onto the that right hand post, and then have a favorable bounce. Oftentimes you see that ball hit the inside of the post and bounce straight in, and and it's unlucky for the goalkeeper. But she tipped it onto the post, and it and it had a good bounce for her. So I think she can be happy with that. Nashville did have one called back um, on that corner kick that that went just beyond. Krasniak and, and found a head and, and went into the back of the net, but the ball had creeped just out of bounds. So, again, Nashville has been pretty dangerous. Two really good opportunities to score, but Chattanooga's had the opportunities as well. You got the Lanters uh, going down this right and left hand side, but uh, I'm interested to see how the substitution patterns work. I think Nashville was was holding the substitutions, maybe a little bit more rhythm in the first half, and Chattanooga Football Club was, was kind of running people back and forth. So that may prove to their advantage in the end with uh, a little bit fresh legs. But I don't know, we'll see. Lucas, what uh, do you think about the first half? Uh, well, pretty similar. I think Chattanooga could, can be thankful that it's scoreless right now and they can, can kind of start this game over. I don't think either of them are really going to change much. Their philosophies both had good chances. So, so a good first half, not bad for Chattanooga. They didn't concede. And I think that's the most important thing. So, Coach Ridley, ready to start over this half. And we thank you for joining us in this broadcast. And happy Father's Day to any dads watching today on this beautiful Sunday night here. Looks like the rain is holding off a little bit. I'll knock on wood. Still got 45 minutes to play here between Chattanooga and Nashville. And, yeah, like you said, a lot more rotation for Chattanooga there. But then there's still a couple players that we saw in there for about 80 to 90 percent of the half. And I think that was Carly Banks, and you mentioned the Lantern sisters running around tirelessly, particularly Carly Banks, I think really the engine of that midfield. Yeah, she's a, definitely a standout for CFC over the past couple years. I know she was an all WPSL player last year uh, for, for her, I believe it was her second summer with the team. Right. And uh, going into her third year, like you said, a, a lot does go through her, especially in the attacking third. She's so creative, so good with the ball at her feet. But it's it's interesting to see you know, Chattanooga try to break down Nashville. Again, haven't really had too much of a good opportunities, but Nashville will be playing from left to right in the second half, and Chattanooga Football Club going from right to left, and looks like the teams are coming back out onto the field, and yeah. we're about to get started here. Carly stepping back out there. Carly, someone that Coach Ridley had a lot of good things to say about the 5-3 midfielder from Peachtree City, Georgia, student athlete at LSU, excellent playmaker for Chattanooga, a lot of movement off the ball, looks like she's going to get that first touch in the kickoff. Here at Finley Stadium, and we're scoreless, and we're about to be underway here. Chattanooga against Nashville in a rematch, and here we go. Chattanooga will start with possession. Hannah Deering back in front of the defense. Gives it back to Krasaniak. Looks like she'll stay in goal. Here's Emily Sadler. She's back in the game for Chattanooga. Back around to the right side and to the middle for Hannah Deering. Hannah Deering, another very important player, a hometown player in her fourth season here, one of the veterans, goes to Tennessee Wesleyan. Really important for this team in terms of that holding midfielder role that Coach Ridley likes and distribution in front of the defense. Ball will go out of bounds for a Nashville throw. And as you mentioned, Lucas, Hannah, a, a local player here, played four years in high school, and then, as you said, an integral role in uh, her freshman year at Tennessee Wesleyan College up in Athens, Tennessee. And she had a, a good season, I believe, and uh, as the season went on, played more and more. And, and Ashley Cage sends one in, cleared away. Carly Banks tries to keep it in play, but Emily Sadler, good touch on it. This is better from CFC. A little bit more possession in the dangerous areas. Seeing some more energy here in the start of the second half. Here's Hannah Deering. Back around. Awkward touch there and loses it. And now Nashville on the break. Olivia Chu, she was a workhorse for Nashville in that first half. Now here's Mason McKay. She's got space in front of her. Cuts inside. She's going to try a shot? No. Looks like she might swing it around. She does. And a shot here and it's very high. Kurzaniak jumps up for it, but didn't look like that was ever going to be on target. It'll be a goal kick. And everything that, that happened positively for Nashville in the first half, I think, came through Chu. She was very, very active. You see her now going back onto her starting position, which is, is more on that left side of a front three, but 
She, uh, she seems to move back and forth and, and, as you mentioned, just kind of be moving all across that front line, just looking for opportunities and spaces to be dangerous. Chu out of Edmonton, Canada, the junior at Cumberland right now. Definitely been a threat so far for Nashville. She's making a run in, but McKay is going to shoot it, looking for a handball, and she'll get it. Referee awards a free kick in a dangerous area for Nashville. Off the Macy McKay shot, trying to see who the whose hand it really hit, but the referees awarded the free kick. You see the CFC players surrounding the referee just a little bit there, asking his rationale of why that was a handling call. It's going to be close in the close to the 18. Referee is going to walk off the 10 yards, make sure that CFC's wall is all the way back. I think that's Chu standing over the ball. Looks like it. She looks like she's going to shoot it too. This is an interesting position because Krasiniak is going to have to choose which side she wants to defend, which side she wants the wall to defend. Got some pushing and shoving in the box. We saw a little bit of that last night, didn't we, Lucas? Oh, we did. But here it comes. Over the wall. No, right into the wall. Well done by CFC. But Chu regains possession, sends it back to Sydney Hunt. Ball bouncing around right now in Chattanooga's half, and they'll try to go on the break here. Here's Des Robinson. Ashley Cade, the overlapping run. She's got someone to her left, but she's gonna keep it. Goes for the shot herself, and it's on target, but bounces. Nothing too challenging there for Ana Rosa Buigas. And she had Ariel Hansford rushing down to her left, decided to take the matters into her own hands. And Chattanooga, see if they start from the back here. Yeah, that's a good play from... Or excuse me, Nashville. Go yeah, it's a good play from, from CFC there after the wall stood strong on that free kick. Oftentimes you see the wall jump or players turn and there's that little bit of space where the ball can sneak through. The wall did really, really well there. Gazeniak, I'm sure, was happy that her wall stayed shoulder to shoulder, didn't jump, didn't get out of the way, just took it. And then a, a good little break ended with, with Carly Banks taking a nice left-footed shot but just wasn't far enough away from the goalkeeper to, to really trouble her. But uh, that, that's better from CFC. Nashville. Looking to create something here. Mason McKay trying to beat it to the goal line. She does, but the ball will just roll out for a goal kick. Do you think Chattanooga really coached her these goals going into this for a defensive organization? I think they've got that down pretty much. The defense has been solid in the first 48 minutes. And they've been circulating the ball, but I don't know if they've been finding the forwards as much as they want and getting those numerical advantages up top. Yeah, and it's... I think it's a problem of once the ball gets there, Lucas, we haven't done well enough holding the ball up. You see the, the strikers and, and Des Robinson the last couple of times maybe hasn't gotten her touch quite right, hasn't been able to control it and keep it at her feet, and just let the other CFC attacking players get around her to where they can combine and be dangerous. And that's the thing when you're in this defensive shape. That's better there from Robinson. You see her receiving the ball from midfield from Julia Cassett, I believe that was, and turning and facing the defenders, but just couldn't quite find a pass after that but that that's better again finding that possession just holding the ball up from the strikers and letting uh letting the other players join her and that one just trickled out of bounds cfc's gonna have a throw in on the far side but i, I agree with you lucas you know cfc's looking to find that rhythm trying to trying to find those passing lanes in midfield and, and be dangerous more in the attacking third right at the 50th minute here in this second half of course, the CFC men with a huge home win, their first home win of the season over at Nashville last night on a stoppage time free kick by Danny Reynolds. We'll see if Chattanooga can notch their first win of the season here against another Nashville team. That pass is short and it's intercepted, but they'll call it another handball. That one's on Ashley Cade. Free kick for Nashville here. And CFC's been a little shaky on these free kicks. I think Nashville will take the opportunity to drop this one into the Looks box like it. around the penalty spot. Kuziniak's going to have to be on her toes, ready to react. If it's a lofted ball, I think you're going to see her come for it. It's a good ball. There it is, right to the penalty spot, like I said. Just couldn't get on the end of it for Nashville. Carly Banks doing really well to hold the ball up there. Hannah Deering clearing, but just couldn't find a CFC player. And Sydney Hunt puts it back into the arms. Of Krasaniak. Krasaniak, been very solid for Chattanooga today. Another Canada native from the Ontario 
area. Goes to Bethel University. She's in her second season with Chattanooga. And she hasn't quite been able to cement down this, this starting role. I know we've uh, had, had several goalkeepers playing for, for CFC women's team so far. She's done well, as you mentioned, uh, Lucas, but like I said, uh, a, lot of, a lot of chopping and changing from this lineup. And, and Coach Ridley, I think, is still trying to find her best lineup. And he also wants to get the players time on the field. And, and it's good to see uh, uh, Krasiniak out there today. And we were talking about a preview. Excuse me, talk about a pregame in these, especially in this women's league. A lot of this is for players to get touches in their offseason before they go back to school. And often, Krasaniak and Sadler, Abby Sadler, the other goalkeeper, has an offside, is called here in Nashville. Do split halves. And Chattanooga is still waiting for the return of Kerry Butler, the mm -hmm. veteran goalkeeper that yep. they kind of brought out of retirement, as Coach Ridley would put it, uh, still recovering from injury. Uh, she's in her first season back as a player with Chattanooga. Uh, had an offside there. Nashville had done well to, to come over to the near side and tried that little reverse ball to, to find an angle behind CFC, but the striker had just gone a little bit too far and uh, it's called offside there. Now Ashley Cade, back to Claire Lanter, swings it around the defense. Intercepted, no, not intercepted. Well done there by Chattanooga. Trying to get it over the top, looks like to Summer Lanter. Not enough on it. And Olivia Chu, she really has been all over the place for Nashville tonight. <laughs> Ashley Cade has some room in front of her, but she's got someone tracking down. She gets away, goes for the shot. Struck Good well. One. And Buigas does well to tip it over the crossbar, and it'll be a corner. That's a good, strong run down this left-hand side. You saw the Nashville players, as you mentioned, Lucas, kind of converge upon her, and then, for whatever reason, just kind of slowed down and, and let her keep it going. She uh, got a good shot off in the goalkeeper. I, th I think we'll be a little bit disappointed to give away a corner kick here. I think she probably should have held that one, but uh, she's at least happy it didn't go in the goal, Absolutely. I'm sure. And the Chattanooga free kick here. It's in, it's a good one, but not enough players in the box there for Chattanooga, but it's gonna bounce right back out to the taker of the corner. That was Des Robinson. Just puts it right back in, and a good touch by Summer Lanter. Chattanooga putting pressure on this defense. Carly Banks has been relentless all game, being that playmaker that Coach Ridley says she is. Yeah, it's a couple good balls into the box. You know, and, and once you get to this level, Lucas, it, it's not about skill. All the girls on the field are, are quality players. They have the technical ability to, to score and create dangerous opportunities. It really is about who wants it more. And on that corner and, and that last ball in, I think uh, I think Nashville just wanted to get to the ball first, and, and that's what you were saying. Those the CFC players, attacking players especially, need to get in there and, and make it happen. You know, they're they're got to get to the ball, got to get their head on it first, and and create those opportunities if they want to score. So let's see if they can do that here. Well, we've mentioned Ashley Cade's long throw all game, and there it is again, a good one right into the six, but cleared away by Nashville and Olivia Chu. A good touch. Swung around. Yeah, that was good closing down by Claire Lancher there, number three, uh, working her way into midfield, making sure that the Nashville striker couldn't turn and had to play sideways. Just slow down and get all her defensive teammates back into a good shape. And now you can see CFC with, with eight players behind the ball, no problem, good shape. And Nashville just keeping a little possession. Rebecca Holloway tries for a shot. Carly Banks, an excellent job of tracking back. And Hannah Deary wins it back for the midfield. Well done to find Sarah Bossing there. Yeah, and that's the hold-up play that we were talking about earlier that, that maybe was missing from Dez as she uh, stepped off the field. And, and you see the possession that CFC is able to have. The, the ball was played in from Hannah Deering, as you mentioned, in the striker. We held it up. Now I've kept possession, and now Nashville has to run. And, and uh, there's Deering again moving the ball. Carly Lloyd. Or Banks, I'm sorry. Yeah, Carly Lloyd, uh, she, she's got a couple she trophies. She must have had a good game. Yeah. You already compared yeah. her to Carly Lloyd. Yeah, she's got a couple trophies with that U.S. Women's National Team. Doesn't Absolutely. She? It was good to see her in the stadium not too long ago. That's right. Finley Stadium, stadium has already hosted both men's and women's. As oh, a touch wow, there. what an opportunity there. A touch there. Looked like Ashley Manning stuck out her foot. Excellent job to pressure the defense, but Buigas collects. And Chattanooga looking like... They're getting most of the pressure here in this young second half. We're 10 minutes in here in the 56th minute. Uh, and Deering there just needs to go with, with her head instead of trying to get that foot up there. Just needs to go in there and, and, and head, it, head it back into the Nashville area. But uh, just read the ball incorrectly and Nashville keeping possession now. 
overlapping run there by Chu. She'll have it. Might whip it in. No, she'll cut back. She's going to try for the shot. Yes, going for that far post. Kurzaniak closes it down. Not enough pace on that ball. Nashville's first real chance of the game, apart from that free kick. Or of the half, excuse me. Yeah, I think you're right, Lucas. Tendigas had the better of possession, the better of the chances so far. And here's another opportunity. Here's Banks Harlan driving Banks forward. Gonna shoot it. She is not afraid to launch it here, letting Buhigas know that she's gonna be shooting it from 20, 25 yards out. And I think she had just a little bit more space to get into Lucas, as you mentioned, shooting from about 25. And uh, we, we've seen her put those in, so no problem with, with her taking the shot. But there was a little bit of space in front of her. Good little move there. Just couldn't quite get around the defender. Nashville coming away with it. And Nashville, having played this team just a week ago, will remember Haley Nichols' goal against them last week from long range. They know this CFC team is not afraid to pull back and shoot it from wherever. Nashville trying to retain some possession here in this early second half. Here's Rebecca Holloway. Ashley Cade right in front of her. Closed down by Lanter. That was Claire. Now back to Sydney Hunt on the wing. But it's out of bounds. Good pressure there. It was intended for Macy McKay. And we're going to have a Nashville sub here. Looks like Sydney Hunt coming off for the rhythm. And Sarah Boston going in. And you mentioned right Claire Lanter. Right, right wing back position. Sorry about that, Lucas. No, you mentioned, mentioned Claire Lanter a second ago. Winner of a couple national championships with the NAIA Lee Flames up in, up in Cleveland. And uh, just been a solid center back for a number of years. And, and she's no stranger to the competition and, and winning ways. And, and just competing at a high level. That's one of the things that it's important to mention that the, the CFC women's team has taken a, a large step up in quality all across the field. And, and you know, Claire and... and her championships and, and you mentioned several other division one players who are here with the women this year and uh, it, it's good to see that that gap in quality oh a good getting turn. less and less but yeah that was a great shot by Nashville there good turn and shot by Emily Mosley just wide another opportunity by Nashville yeah like you mentioned Claire three-year captain at Lee University and All-American uh, another hometown player and a veteran for the CFC team it's kind of kind of the kind of player you can really build a team around there at center back. And she's always communicating. I, I was able to referee the, the blue and white game here, the preseason friendly between between the, it was an inner squad friendly. And right. one thing that I noticed about her on the field that maybe I hadn't cued into before was just how much she communicates. She's always telling somebody something. And that's really, really important um, because Julia Cassett, number 20, sitting right next to her is, is just about to be a freshman in college. So right. maybe not quite as much experience. She's a really, really good player. Uh, went to high school here at East Hamilton in, in Chattanooga. But when you have that experience, Claire, right next to the youth and, and the skill of, of Cassett, it, it's really a good combination. In Cast it a product of the CFC Academy here in Chattanooga from Kennesaw, Georgia. And these Lanter sisters really have quite an impact on the CFC team. Sure, Deering, they're going down again. Yeah, I think you mentioned earlier another local girl uh, who played, I believe, at Notre Dame and, uh, and now is at uh, Tennessee Wesleyan. Right. That holding midfielder, all important in this 4 3 3 for Coach Ridley. Hannah Deering, another veteran on the CFC team. Here's an opportunity to get the ball into the box and be dangerous. Ashley Cade. That will go out of bounds off of Nashville. It'll be a CFC throw in and here's a substitution for Chattanooga. Claire Lanner just taking a little bit of a break as we enter the 61st minute. Yeah, Claire Lanter getting some rest. Here's Ashley Cade, that long throw. See if a goal finally pays off from it. It's headed back. Looked like about a 50-50 ball there, so it'll be a goal kick. Yeah, Coach Ridley said that is something that they really want to utilize, that long throw. Not many teams in this league have that 
that luxury of a player that can launch into a box, basically like a cross directly from a throw-in. And I think one thing that, that CFC needs to do if they are going to take advantage of that, Lucas, is start back post, give themselves the space to check into, and then have one or two players who get into that space near post looking to flick back. You know, like uh, we saw Luke, Luke Winter do that so well last night, and that's a great ball over the top, almost getting past the Nashville defenders. But, yeah, you have a, a big, strong forward checking into the near post, flicking to runners behind, and, and I think that's how they're going to be the most successful. You can't expect to just throw the ball into a box where there's a bunch of static players and, right. and expect it to be you know effective but uh, we got another substitution going in and hopefully like you mentioned that that pressure and, and you know having balls into the box so often can can pay in the end and Taylor Bracken coming into the game her first appearance of this game the West Alabama student down in Livingston coming out was Melissa hash so Bracken will replace her over on that right wing here comes Ashley K to that throw, and once again. Emily Mosley on the ball to Rebecca Holloway. Eve Rawlings to Mary Frances Hoots. Back to Emily Mosley. CFC putting some pressure on these defenders and a miss hit there and Carly Banks steals it away but can't get there. Uigas clears it and Banks is making a statement in this second half she wants to score. Yeah, so much better from CFC. Did you see the pressure paying off? Banks relentless and just chasing down the defenders and pressuring the goalkeeper. Good clearance in the end, almost gets Nashville into the box but Vizniak able to get it and play forward. See Nashville with it now. Here's Des Rob, excuse me, Rebecca Holloway for Nashville. And it's an offside here. And Chu just a little bit impatient there. Maybe just uh, playing that ball a little bit too, uh, too slowly for her striker and had drifted up just offside in that situation. I think we're going to have another substitution for Chattanooga yeah, Football Club. Here comes Anna The youngest of the Lanter sisters heading to Lee University this fall all state for Saudi, Saudi Daisy High School here in Tennessee in the 2015-16 season she's in her third season with CFC and looks like, looks like she'll take out Lizzie Shaughnessy who's kind of been all over the place for CFC as well she can play in that number nine role she's actually the leading goal scorer for this team and playing it outside back for the majority of this game it's a really strong header there. Some pressure here and a great turn. Here comes Hansford being pressured again. Good job cutting back. Gonna swing it around. Doesn't get there. And just not enough on that ball there, but she did really, really Bracken. well keeping the ball at her feet, working around the defenders, but just couldn't quite get enough on that. Becca Holloway, she's been in the game for a while now for Nashville. Create some space for herself, but well done to get cleared away here by Julia Cassett. Looks like another sub for both teams here. Melody Fisher of Austin P University coming in for Nashville. And Haley Nichols and Krista Klingenberg coming in for CFC. See if they put Klingenberg there in the center of that defense. Mason McKay will come out for Nashville. Looks like Hannah Deering coming out for CFC. A lot of rotation here by Chattanooga. And that's yeah, kind of the way Coach Ridley likes. Yeah, it keeps it keeps the, the women fresh out there. They're, they're definitely going to be able to give their all while they're on the field. But it does break up the rhythm just a little bit. It does break up the, the cohesion of the feet, of the players that are on the field. And, you know, once you kind of find a rhythm and, and, and find your legs, then it's it's almost one of those situations where you're about to come out and, and maybe don't, um, you know, get, a, get as much of a flow within the game as you would like. But, you know, like I mentioned, when it's hot, it's out here, it's humid. You know, Ridley likes to, to make sure that she's rotating the squad and, and keeping, oh, what a good dummy there. Great dummy. And Carly Banks, they've got an advantage here. Taylor Bracken, she's got fresh legs. Only been in the game for about five minutes, but the cross 
floats over the goal. And that's what I mean about the rhythm, Lucas. You could see she had the fresh legs, able to get onto it. Good run on the outside, but it's her first touch of the game. You mm -hmm. know, she, she hasn't been in. You know, I, I would have loved to see her take a touch and go at the defender, maybe make a little bit more of an aggressive decision rather than a cross right. so early. But again, I, I don't I don't really hate the early cross, but we need the quality on the end of it there. And, and I think a player who's more in rhythm, who's been playing for a couple more minutes and, and has seen a little bit more of the ball probably does a little better there. Right. And that's not always what Chattanooga prefers to do. The crawl, oh, good job here by Ashley Manning, putting pressure on the Nashville defenders. I think that's been the difference so far in the, in the second half here, Lucas. You saw CFC sitting off and giving Nashville a lot of time in the first half, but they're high pressing in the second half and getting opportunities to stay in that half rather than you know defending back right. here in Nashville with constant pressure. And again, there's there's Nashville with the opportunity to pressure and come Olivia away. Olivia Chu. Being relentless there, you can tell she wants to score as Krasaniak floats it up in her clearance, but cleared away by the Chattanooga defense. And here's Ashley Cade on the ball. Back to Krasaniak. Krasaniak looking to start from the back, but Nashville knows that. Looks like they're trying to cover those defenders and force Krasaniak to boot it upfield to regain possession. So Nashville back in possession now. Ball with Neve Rawlings. Not a good pass and Summer Lanter finds it. She's got speed. She's yeah, gonna is... outrun Emily Mosley and she's got space now. They've got the numerical advantages they wanted. She's gonna take a shot. It's a good one off the crossbar. Who's there to rebound? And she's offside. That was Ashley Manning. Yeah, and that's something that Nashville definitely isn't going to want to see. You got Summer Lancer just running with so much space in front of her. Good little step over, got the ball on her favored right foot and just took a laser shot. I don't think the goalkeeper had a chance. It was dipping over top, but didn't quite dip enough. Hits the top of the bar and bounces straight up. We've got and, a change here. Yep, we've got a goalkeeping change. Looks like Abby Sadler, who we just mentioned, still in her second season with Chattanooga from Jonesboro, Arkansas. They typically split halves, but she'll make her entrance here in the 69th minute of this game. At Sadler, the 5'8", in her second season. Played for FC Alliance in Knoxville, Udawa High School nearby. She's an Arkansas commit. She'll be in Fayetteville in the fall. A good, loud, young goalkeeper, a good communicator, as Coach Ridley described. Krasaniak's done a good job so far. We'll see if Sadler can keep that clean sheet. Krista Klingenberg, good job to dispossess Mosley. She's got space. Go to the middle of the field here for Haley Nichols. I think it's an opportunity here to just be patient. Yeah, I think Nichols just forcing the play there just a little Chew, bit. Two sticks her leg out there. No foul, she played the ball. Good cut back, back to the middle. Neve Rawlings. And that's good smart play from Nashville there, recognizing there's nothing in front, just holding the ball, holding possession, making Chattanooga Football Club work behind it. And I think we're going to have a substitution here for Nashville as the ball went out of play. That's right. Looks like Ellen Lundy, number 15, going in for the rhythm, taking out, I believe, Rebecca Holloway, who's also been the driving force behind the, Na behind the Nashville attack in this second half especially. Nice long throw in there again. So Chattanooga trying to break the deadlock. And Coach Ridley told me they don't want to draw in this game. They want to win. A win would propel them to near, near mid-table here in the southeast standings of the WPSL. Alabama FC sits on top with eight points. Of course, Chattanooga only one point from that draw against Alabama FC and two losses against the Knoxville Lady Force and this Nashville Rhythm. Nashville sits only one spot ahead of Chattanooga, gets second to last with only three points. Yeah, you know Chattanooga wants to leapfrog Nashville. Make sure that they're uh, 
up there challenging at the top of the table. As you mentioned before, everyone will play in the playoffs, make sure they have an opportunity. And the games have been tight. You know, it's it's not like there's been one team who's just run away with it. And uh, and I think that's what see. I think that's what both coaches expected is what they told me going in. These two teams are very similar. They like to play with the same style, the same mentality, and they didn't change any of that going into this game. A lot of the, the ball bounced probably a little bit in Nashville's favor in the last game, which of course happened, this is soccer. But this was to be expected, at least by both coaches, is a pretty even game. We'll see if someone could get a late goal. We're only in the 72nd minute. Plenty of soccer left to be played here at Finley Stadium. Here's Rebecca Holloway on the ball. She's still in the game for Nashville. Tidy Great work tackle there. by Krista Klingenberg. Here's an opportunity to break for Chattanooga. They've got numbers. Here's Carly Banks. She's got space in front of her. Yeah, five on three if Summer can get into the action. Plays in front of Thacker to her right. Thacker takes a couple touches. We'll see what she does now. Goes for the far post cross. Too much. And it's a goal kick. They had three players crashing that far post, but just a few yards ahead of them. And Buiga safely watches it roll out for a goal kick. Carlos. Yeah, and that's what I was saying with the opportunity. As Banks got the ball out to the right side, I think both of these two midfielders and strikers on this left side, I think it was Lanter on the on the far left, and not quite sure who the striker was at the moment, right. but I, I think they just got to be sprinting into their, into that box. That's a good ball into the danger area, and you got to have somebody sliding in there with a toe or a knee or something to put that one away, and uh, that's a good opportunity for CFC. Abby Sadler getting her first few touches of this game. Boots it right up the middle of the field. Settled by Carly Banks. Summer Lanter tries to make a play on it. And Buigas, not afraid to come out of that box. A good header away there. Here's Neve Rawlings, good cutback. Yeah, some neat touches there in midfield. So Nashville, this is Madison Lauk on the ball. Over the top, right into the legs of Lanter. And Lucas, it always, it always makes me smile, the different countries that are Chattanooga fans. We got people from Greece on the stream today. Really excited to have you guys. And uh, yeah, anywhere you're, you're checking in from, watching the stream, make sure you let us know. We like to see different states, different countries, and everybody supporting their favorite teams across the NPSL and the WPSL. Lancer breaking forward here. Here's Summer. Is she going to shoot it herself? Yes, she will. And it's past the far post. Takes a bounce. Like we said, these are the two teams sitting at the bottom of the Southeast, Southeast Division of the WPSL. Chat in last place with one point. Nashville with three and second to last. But Alabama FC leading with eight points. So it's not that large of a gap. Of course, they only play an eight game regular season. So need a win here. Ashley Cade going to take the corner. Yeah, Lanter with a really good move there. She likes that step over, really get the defender going to, to her left, and then move it back onto the right foot where she can take a shot. Deflection for a corner, and this one's going to be served back post. A high header. Ball's bouncing around. Comes out to a Chattanooga player. That's Taylor Bracken. And that high ball in goes right into the hands of Buigas. Approaching the 76th minute here. Finley Stadium on this Father's Day evening. Chattanooga looking for their first win, first home win and first win of the season. Nashville looking for their second. Bad touch there and the ball goes out. Chattanooga throw. Yeah, Excuse good. me. Yes, Chattanooga throw. I think we're going to have a Nashville substitution here. We have here. Rebecca Holloway coming in for Nashville. Looks like Neve Rawlings is stepping out. She's had a lot of touches there in the middle of the field. Rebecca Holloway, more of an attacking player for Nashville. We've seen her in the final third a good bit tonight. From Bristol, England. The 5-4 midfielder. Yeah, I'm interested to see how this one plays out. You know, as a team visiting Chattanooga, you usually see teams, you know, playing for a draw really Really, really compact, really just sitting back. And, uh, and Nashville's done a little bit of that in the second half, but right. trying to break forward. I, I wonder if 
you know, the substitutions are going to be a little bit more attacking minded in this last 15 minutes or whether they will just, you know, maybe throw on a couple defenders or a defensive midfielder and, and just hold up shop here, you know, knowing that a point is valuable away from home. But uh, I think CFC's got to go for this one. I, I, we talked about the mentality um, from the coach today and, and wanting to go out and get this win and, and leapfrog Nashville into into or, or af, off the bottom, you know, of the table. Right. But, uh, you know, it, it's going to it's going to be down to the, the players for CFC, especially the attacking players, to, to get in there and really make the difference. And I think we're going to have another substitution for CFC Looks like happening it. here. And uh, has Claire Lanter, I believe, stepping back on the field. Claire got a few minutes break. She is a staple of this Chattanooga defense. Looks like she's taking on Krista Klingenberg. No, excuse me, that's not Krista. That's nah, Cassett, I believe, number 20. It is Julie Cassett coming off. Center back for center back. And I'm always interested to see how players evolve throughout their careers and, and how they how they play in different levels. Um, you know, Julia played a lot of midfield throughout her high school career. I'm sure she'll play a lot of center back. She's good distribution with her feet, reads the game really well. But that happens to a lot of midfielders as as they get into the college game and as they get into this amateur ranks. You know, they they sit back in. You know, maybe an outside midfielder becomes an outside back. You know, because they, these defenders they're they're not just defenders anymore. They have to have good feet. They have to be able to distribute. They have to be able to get forward and and be dangerous in attack. Speaking of defense. Here comes Lizzie Shaughnessy, been playing a left back for most of today. Taking off Ashley Cade, it looks like. She's going to stay in that left back position. Can be a goal scoring threat, but loves to defend. So she's back there in the left back position. But that, yeah, it's like you said, this Chattanooga team, as we've mentioned before in this broadcast, so many utility players. Here's Emily Mosley on the ball, tries to lift it over to that left flank, but not nearly enough on it. And Olivia Chu for Nashville. Trying to find a run to make a ball through. Oh, and that is, a, or excuse me, just under the foot there on the right wing for Nashville. We got a substitution coming up here. Yeah, that's a little bit sloppy from Nashville. As the ladies start to get a little bit tired, we may see that. Legs, legs getting heavy. It's been hot out there today. That's right. Karen Baker of Belmont University. You mentioned three of the players in this team from Belmont. So there's Karen Baker coming on. Another one of those versatile players that can play in the defense and the midfield. Alexandra Searcy goes to school here at UTC. Also coming on, making, excuse me, Baker making her first appearance of the game. Here's Hansford looking for Bracken there in who he guess collects without much of a problem. We're approaching the 80th minute, still no goal here in Chattanooga's third game, excuse me, fourth game of the season. I thought that was really good composure by the Nashville goalkeeper there, just waiting on the outside of her box, going down a little bit early, but knowing that her defender was shielding the ball back, Lanter wasn't able to get there. And like I said, I think just a good bit of composure to read the game there from the goalkeeper in Nashville. Looks like Sadler coming out to meet it. Yeah, same thing on the other on the other end. Sadler had to be on the front foot there to make sure her defender didn't get into any problems, able to come forward and get possession for CFC. Long ball out here. Well, thank you again for anyone that's joining us here on this live stream today for the Chattanooga FC women's fourth game of the season against Nashville Rhythm. Krista Klingenberg wins the ball back. Here's Carly Banks. Taylor Bracken. Is she going to send another cross in? Yes. Need runs in the box here. Right into the arms of Buigas. And I'm not sure why Klingenberg, you, you saw as she distributed the ball out there, just kind of turned and, and ran back towards her defensive four. And I know she's playing that, that defensive center mid role, but um, I, I think you just got to take the chance there in the 80th minute. Get that extra body in the box. Make it make it a little bit awkward for for Nashville defenders, and, and see what happens. You know that there was plenty of cover back, and, and I'm not sure I'm not sure there. And and that may be uh, some of Coach Ridley's instructions, making sure that the the two defensive midfielders stay put. But I think you got to take some chances here as the game gets later on, Lucas. Well done to get it out to Hansford here. She's trying to beat it. 
gets gets it to not go over the goal line, and it's into Carly Banks. Carly Banks. Oh, we have a penalty, penalty here. Penalty. Banks did so well to get her body in between the defender and the ball, and the defender couldn't really do much about it. Her momentum took her straight into Banks, and I, I'm not sure there was a whole bunch of contact, but Banks is a smart player. Once she felt that little bit in the back, goes down, the referee really had no choice there. We'll see it soon here. We've got the <laughs> delayed live stream here on our computer. And Carly Banks has been working hard for Chattanooga all game. Looks like it's going to be Lizzie Shaughnessy to take the PK. She's had two goals on the season. That's more than anybody else on Chattanooga's squad. Of course, Chattanooga only three goals total, excuse me, four goals on the season. They've got two other players with a goal apiece. And Lizzie Shaughnessy will try to break the deadlock here in the 82nd minute. Cristiano Ronaldo type run up. <laughs> Buries it. Wow, with such composure, the goalkeeper picked a direction, moved to her left. Klingenberg just got her head up. Buried that one to the right of the goalkeeper. That's great composure. One to nothing. Draws first blood here. One to nothing. Lizzie Shaughnessy scores her first goal of the season. Excuse me, third goal of the season. As Carly Banks won the penalty. And we've got three subs here. Hannah Deering going in, Emily Sadler going in, Ashley Cade going in. We've got Krista Klingenberg coming out. A couple others coming out for Chattanooga. Krista Klingenberg has been playing in that center of the defense as well as in front of the defense. Looks like she's back in that center back position. Hannah Deering back on the field. She typically just plays in that holding mid position. So now Nashville is going to be forced to attack Olivia Chu. Too much on it. As a coach and a goalkeeper, especially those center backs as well, have got to be playing, telling the midfielders and the outside backs, just stay compact for the next couple minutes. Let us weather the storm. Like you said, Lucas, Nashville is going to be pressing high. They're going to be looking for that equalizer. And I think CFC just needs to remain compact. No silly decisions. Be really, really smart for the next couple. See the game out. And those are the big three points that we've been talking about. But right. Nashville's not going to go quietly. It's going to be an interesting last 10 minutes or so with extra time. Defensive organization was a focus going into this game, and it's been good for 83 minutes. Can it be good for another seven? And here's a good run by Carly Banks. Too much on it. No, Carly Banks gets her foot on it. We'll see what they call it. Looks like it's going to be a corner for Chattanooga. Well done by Carly Banks not giving up on that ball. Now Chattanooga looking to double their lead. Yeah, I think Carly's just gonna take her time out there. Just Absolutely. walk towards the corner. Here in the 84th minute. I don't think CFC is gonna commit too many bodies forward. You can see four back here in just a little box. You have several CFC defenders and, and you can see what the three points means. You got Nashville attacking players coming up to the substitution area. I think we're gonna see a change here in a minute. Hannah Deering heads it back in, headed back out. And, and it's out for a goal kick. Yeah, Lanter just snatching at it with her left foot there. More subs here. Olivia Chu making her way back into the game for Nashville. So a mass sub for Nashville. Looks like they're injecting some offensive players here into the 11. Yeah, I think you're right, Lucas. Olivia Chu, Dylan Woolsey coming on. Macy McKay, it looks like. Under pressure here is Lizzie Shaughnessy. That's well done by Shaughnessy to use her body, keep the Nashville player from getting around her and winning that ball. Hanford's had a good game on that left wing. Trying to keep it in, just couldn't get the header right. Haley Nichols getting set to come in for Chattanooga. Gonna take out Carly Banks, who's been an absolute engine in the midfield. Of course, won the penalty that was knocked in by Shaughnessy to get this first goal. We'll see if it's the only goal. Still 85th minute right now, still five plus extra time. Anything can happen. Nichols is one who will do the dirty work. Banks is a little bit more of an attacking player, a little bit of a flair player. Nichols will play in that extended position as a striker, but she's going to battle. She's definitely a midfielder at heart, and will uh, will just get in there and, and work for the team for these last five or six minutes and do everything she can to, to make sure that CFC sees this one away. Here's Macy McKay. She's drifting with it for a while. 
Here's Rebecca Holiday, a long range shot. And that one and wasn't far away, Lucas. The Sadler had that post covered, watches it go. Here comes Julia Cassett. Looks like some defensive reinforcements being put in here for Chattanooga. Definitely slowing the game down with these substitutions, taking all these precious, precious seconds away. Um, there, there is a, another side to it. You know, we're, again, we're slowing the game down, but again, the rhythm of a player. You know, Cassett hasn't has been on the bench, hasn't been in the game for the last five or ten minutes. You know, that's that's when mistakes happen. You come into the game and maybe you're not quite up to speed. You know, I'd like to see Coach Ridley maybe leave the back four, you know, intact for the next ten minutes or so, and and maybe make some changes in front of that. But you got to have some continuity with that back four as, as you go into this final stretch. Clear, Lander clears it out. Nashville, the throw in near the corner flag. And Lanter clears it out again. Haley Nichols now, pretty high up for Chattanooga. And safely collected by Abby Sadler, we'll see. Chattanooga likely to take their time going forward here in the 87th minute, about to be the 88th. Booms it upfield. Big kick from Sadler. Nichols did well there with a touch to hold it up. Two Sadlers on this team. Emily trying to put pressure on. And here comes Chattanooga. They've got some numbers now. Looking out to Emily Mosley on the right wing. Plays it inside. Here's Olivia Chu. Olivia Chu takes a touch. There's too much on it. Bounces around some more Emily Mosley. Plays it back into Sarah Bossley. She's gonna go for the shot. Right into the hands of Abby Sadler. That was a good confidence save. Good hands, no rebound in there. And as you mentioned, Lucas, just taking their time, keeping a little bit of possession here. Both goalkeepers have had good games for Chattanooga so far. Danielle Krasaniak started, played about the first 60 minutes, and Sadler has looked confident in her 20-some minutes here on the pitch. And there goes Buiga. And we can expect a long ball here. See if Chattanooga can get something on it and send it back. Nobody in goal here for Nashville, but I don't know if they'll get anyone in time. No, it doesn't look like it, but he get tracking back. Haley Nichols, Chattanooga, looking Good. to spread it out now. Good job get by it Nichols away from there. Nashville. Yeah, moving to the opposite side, away from all the pressure. Well done by Cade. I like this. I think Cade's just going to go into the corner. Offside. And you can see the little run again, trying to get in that corner, waste a few precious seconds. Looks like they got to start a little too quick there. Now yeah, the ball was still over. rolling. Absolutely. You can see the referee signaling that it was still in motion when the ball was played. But yeah, I, I, I'd just like to see uh, Kay just dribble that one into the corner, and then you got one or two CFC players just in there protecting the ball. But unfortunately, it was offside. Give the ball back to Nashville. Driving forward here down the middle of the field. Here comes Nashville. Good touches here. Olivia Chu trying to make something happen. Offside flag goes up. A little eager there on the left side for Nashville. Yeah, I think CFC's a little fortunate there. Nashville player as she drove in was being bumped, and I think if she would have gone down, you know, after feeling that pressure and feeling that contact, I think the referee probably would have given a foul there, but tried to stay tough, tried to stay up and, and continue playing, and in the end, it was an offside decision, and CFC plays forward. We're approaching the end of regulation. Likely to be some extra time here due to the penalty. Good ball here. Can Haley Nichols track it down? No, Buhigas does well to come out of her box, something she's been doing all game. And a good ball as well. Some trouble clearing there for Claire Lanter. Olivia Chu, but she slips on the ball. She can't keep possession. Chattanooga gets it back. And what a time for her first missed touch of the game. I Absolutely. think Chu's been probably the bright spot for Nashville. Done mostly everything right tonight. And then right there, I think she just sped up a little bit too much Sarah with that Boston. space. Good ball in here, but Sadler finds it before McKay can. Well done there yeah. by Abby Sadler, the yeah. second year goalkeeper for CFC. Yeah, good aggressive play there by Sadler. Again, on the front foot, anticipating play, able to get out there and gobble it up. Well, we are into extra time here at Finley Stadium. Chattanooga trying to hold on to this lead and get that first win of the season. 
that escaped them in their last game against Nashville. Good play there. Haley Nichols now. We'll try and trying find to a corner. Hold on to the oh, ball. Well Good done move. by Nichols. Poked away though by Emily Mosley. And Nashville may have one, maybe two chances here to get an equalizer. Hannah Deering loses it. Excuse me, Summer Lanter. And here's Ashley Cade. Just going to send it up the line. Ugas is going to meet it. Right there on the box. That was close. Referee looking at his watch. Buhiga getting bold out here. Almost took it all the way up to midfield there. And back into the arms of Abby Sadler. Referee has not blown the whistle yet. Sadler's going to hang on to it for a second here. And there it is, the final whistle. Chattanooga gets their first win. Carly Banks wins the penalty. Early. Excuse me, late in the game for Chattanooga and Lizzie Shaughnessy slots it in. Calm, cool, and collected. And Chattanooga gets that first win. They'll have four points now. And jump Nashville in the league table in the southeast. Standings in WPSL. And a huge first home win and a huge first win of the season for Chattanooga. Yeah, and it was a, ga a game of two halves there, Lucas. Nashville had the majority of the chances. CFCF, I feel, would be feeling lucky going into the to the halftime break and into the locker room, feeling like they were really lucky at 0-0. Krasiniak had a great save moving to our left, and then not sure what Coach said in, in the halftime talk, but CFC completely different in the second half, pressing higher, creating more chances, getting more balls into the box, and that pressure paid in the end. Banks was dangerous throughout, got herself into a great position, felt the contact, went down, Really, really mature performance from her, as always. And as you mentioned, just cool, calm, and collected. Stepped up, finished the penalty. And as you said, Chattanooga FC gets a little bit of revenge after losing 2 to nothing in Nashville about eight days ago. So back-to-back -back games. Chattanooga drops the first against Nashville 2 to nothing and takes the second 1 to nothing. Lizzie Shaughnessy gets her third goal of the season. Still the leading goal scorer for the CFC women. Thank you for joining us tonight on this Father's Day here at Finley Stadium. Beautiful night here in Chattanooga for the women to get their first win of the season. Chattanooga wins 1 to 0 over the Nashville Rhythm. And it's been a been a hectic week, Lucas. We can expect more soccer here in Chattanooga. This is just the beginning. We've had two men's games over the past couple days. First with New Orleans, and then last night a great epic win with the Danny Reynolds free kick late in the match against Nashville. Women's game tonight, one to nothing, Chattanooga Football Club. We've got a couple games this week, though. Absolutely. It's important to mention the game against Birmingham for the men will be free of charge. It's the game that got rained out several weeks right. ago, and uh, this is the only time they could find to make it up. So the game will start at 6.30 p.m. at Finley Stadium, Tuesday afternoon, July, or June 20th, I'm sorry. And we'll be here, like I said, at a different time than normal. Usually we start at 7.30. We're going to start at 6.30 this time around. Make sure you come to Fort Finley. Like I said, free admission. Come enjoy the evening. Come enjoy the beginning of the week, and uh, we look forward to seeing you. And after that, it's another tough test in the NPSL for the men. But let's get through the next one against Birmingham. It's going to be a great week. Lucas, thank you so much for joining us on the stream today. Thank you so much for being here this weekend. And we look forward to having you back next week. I can't wait to be here. It's been an exciting first weekend here with CFC. Great to see these two teams get two wins Saturday and Sunday against these national teams. Absolutely. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back to wrap up the game and give you guys just a little bit more insight from what we saw. Don't go away women team with their first win of the 2017 season here in front of a pretty good crowd. Fort Finley, as always, Simon Neal to my right, Lucas Panzica, who's joined us for a great match today. Lucas, what did you think about the game? Well, it's been a fantastic weekend overall. This win against Nashville on Saturday and then this win against Nashville on Sunday. Coach Ridley really stressed the importance of this game, this rematch against Chattanooga. You never want to say a revenge match kind of adds this malicious... But there's a, there's but, a little you know, bit of that. Bit of that. Yeah, the ball yeah. kind of didn't bounce Chattanooga's way in the last game. A 2-0 loss. They lost the penalty. So, you know... Funny how things work in soccer sometimes. Carly Banks goes down, probably was a foul there on the other end late in the game. And Lizzie Shaughnessy does pretty much what she's done this season, her third goal, leading scorer of this team. So so I'd say a good weekend for CFC. Absolutely. Simon? Yeah. A little bit of a little bit of fun for you in the second half. I saw you down there with the Chattanooga Hooligans. How are they doing? I was playing calls. They had a good time down there with the Hooligans. 
So there'll be a few of them there tonight. They shouldn't make a lot of noise. And we've got to talk to uh, Storm New House Check and Paolo Peter from the men's team. They were really into it, really enjoyed the ladies' team. It was really great the atmosphere down there. Even with less people, but it's still great bars, lots of noise. And when the penalty went in, wow, they made tons of noise. It was great. So yeah, the second half is really good because CFC kind of took the offensive. We talked about it in the first half when I was here with Lucas. And down on the field, I could see just how fast it played, how much quicker it was. And they replayed the offensive, went after the ball, and they got the result. They got the penalty, got the goal. We got a two wins for Chattanooga the right. weekend. Coach really did exactly what she said she mm -hmm. was going to do. The rotation, all the utility players. Players were playing left back, right back, forward in the same half sometimes. And they all did a great job. I think they all did what they were supposed to do, what Coach really instructed them to do. So, so like I said, fantastic weekend for CFC. We'll see if it continues in that rematch against Birmingham this Tuesday. Right, as you mentioned, really a tale of two halves. Lots of pressure for Nashville in the first half. Great save by Krasiniak for CFC to push it onto the post and got a nice lucky bounce. Mm. Bounced straight out to a CFC defender, got cleared. Lots of things changed in the second half. Lots of pressure from the CFC mm. women's team. In the end, it tells one or nothing CFC women. So we've got a lot going on this week. We're in the middle of our homestand for the men. Mm, we've got baby. this game for the women yeah. here in the middle. Talk to us about this week coming up. Well, we've got this rematch that we talked about. It's the Birmingham Hammers who are coming back here on Tuesday night at 6.30, correctly? 6.30, 6 30, yeah. Now, it's going to be a free game. If you're watching this at home, you haven't been to a game. Why wouldn't you come? You cannot not come for a free game. If we're lucky, they're going to start it on 20 seconds, yep. I believe. Yep. 20 minutes so we'll in, start yeah. 20 minutes in and uh, go from there. We're chatting with a 1 0 lead. So that's going to be very exciting. Um, follow that, we've got a game on uh, Saturday. And um, I haven't listed which game is which. Yep, 24th and then the 28th. 20th. So more home games coming up. And uh, I think we've got FC Carolina United yep. next. And then uh, we've got Memphis. So yeah, that's what we got. So yeah, lots going on. Lots of games back to back. The players will be tired, but they're going to give everything they've got. So it's going to be a great couple of days of soccer here at Chattanooga at Finney Stadium. Yeah, we're excited. We can't wait. Again, lots of road games for the men's team at the mm -hmm. very beginning of the year. Now we're coming into this home stand up. I kind of feel sorry for Birmingham. You can feel the tension lift last night. Mm -hmm. It was almost palpable in the stadium. Tension one to one. There was the red card from Whitehall. Right. CFC went down a player and then battling back. And, and what a free kick from Reynolds to, mm -hmm. to kind of finish that one in the 92nd minute. But like I said, I kind of feel bad for Birmingham. I, I think we're going to see some goals on Tuesday night. And and uh, I know the Chattanooga Blues are going to love that. Right. Well, you hope that first win of the season will kind of ignite them and light the fire under them to keep it going for the rest of the season. I guess we'll find that out on Tuesday. Exactly right. And that's what Coach Bill Elliott was mentioning. Mm -hmm. You know, that may be a momentum shift for the season, uh, a season-defining moment, if you will. So uh, we're excited to see what happens this week with the men's team and the women's team. But uh, for myself, Carlos Pilago, Simon Neal to my right, Lucas Panzica, it's been a great evening, guys. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us. You guys make sure you check back in this week. Come out to Fort Finley on Tuesday for a free match. And, uh, yeah, thanks for having a great night.